Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're looking at the scriptures for the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. All three scriptures, Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Gospel, all deal with sin and overcoming sin, a topic that uh, all of us need to hear more about. In the Old Testament, Israel had three major kings at the beginning of their united kingdom. The first was King Saul, the second was David, and the third was Solomon. Saul sinned greatly two times and he was caught and as a result of that uh, he was questioned and his response to being caught in sin was really to kind of hide it and uh, and dismiss it and, and, and not make that big of a thing out of it and basically told his friends we don't have to make this a big deal. Well that isn't a heart after God and that led to our second king in Israel and that was King David. But like Saul, David sinned too with Bathsheba and he had Uriah put to death. But when he was called on the carpet by the prophet Nathan, his response was different than King Saul. His response was a contrite heart, a broken heart. In fact, he wrote Psalm 51 in response to this sin. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Overcoming sin and the key to overcoming sin is very important. That key is Jesus. If Jesus is living inside of us, he can animate and influence our life, but he goes beyond influencing. He actually lives through us. I don't know of any greater deterrent to sin in my life than to be conscious of the fact that Jesus is living his life through me. Paul got a hold of this in Galatians chapter 2, in verse 20, the very scripture that we're reading for this week. He said, I have been crucified with Christ, and it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and delivered himself up for me. If Jesus is living inside of you, will that change your life? Will that change your schedule? Will that change what you do and what you don't do? I think it will. It's actually a game changer. If you keep that in mind, that Jesus is living inside of you, that will help you overcome sin in a big way. That not only will you be conscious of the life inside of you, as the Virgin Mary was conscious of Jesus in her womb and cared for him, but we will yield to him and allow him to live through us. We'll be sensitive to sin and we will run from it. So I want to encourage you today to focus on Jesus living inside of you as a way of overcoming sin in your life. That intimacy with him is really the key. The gospel reading goes on and talks about how Jesus interacted with sinners and how he had a major impact on their life. Not only will he have an impact on your life, but through you, you'll have an impact on others too.